Hey Rhonda, here we go. Uh, 27003, 143rd Street. And what I'll do is I'll pan around and show you some different shots of this house. This is the front of it, driveway area. And I'll pan around to my north and show you the entrance. It's the last house at the end of the street. And there's our street up here. And then adjacent to us, you see a house there. And then over here to my west, we have another house, which uh, all fits with the territorial type features of the another area. Another shot of the house, looking at it from the south, and three car garage. And now we are going to pan around to the east. You can see the mountain somewhat in the background. I'll take a better shot and I get in the backyard. Side shot of the house facing to the southeast. Now I'm looking at the home uh, facing the northwest at this point. What I wanted to do is give you a shot of the back area. It is an acre and a quarter. This is the type of landscape we're dealing with out here. A couple Sororos on the property. Pan around now and this where the cleared area that you see on the right is actually where the property line will run. Front entrance, uh, courtyard area. You can see the landscaping features here and this will be the block wall runs around the front of the home to the entrance. Front entrance and the walkway leading up to the front door. Pan up where you can see the top of the structure as well. My back is to the front door and I am looking into the living area and the pool area there in the back. And on my left it would be the entertainment area. And I'll pan up and take a shot of that spectacular ceiling. And now I'm looking uh, towards the back of the home, again back into the patio area. And off to my right of this picture, we're into the kitchen area. You see some of the furnishings in here. And as I walk to the kitchen, see the nice granite features, a uh, little bar area here. cabinet areas, work area, ovens, sub-zero refrigerator built in, pantry area behind the door, this is our center island area with our sink and dishwasher. And walking into the pantry, Fairly large pantry area, as you can see, tile throughout. And I might add, very nice tile with the features they've added with little square knockouts. That's extra. And of course, I'm still now I've panned over to where the entertainment area is and the fireplace. By the way, this house also has a sprinkler fire sprinkler system, which is unusual for being out in the country. So that's a little added feature. There's a fan area. Now the front door is now on my right side and I'll walk my way down this hallway which services uh, a couple of the bedroom areas. This is a hall bath area, guest type bathroom. Uh, and right here in front of me, and again, I'm right off the entry, is a coat closet. I'm on the south wing of the house now adjacent to the garage area and this is the laundry room that's off that hallway area that we just came down. And as I step out into this area, I'm getting in the hallway area, I have a bedroom directly ahead of me, which has a patio area that goes into that uh, front landscaped area as well. You can access it. Closet door has its own uh, separate bathroom area and slate countertop, tile countertop, and a shower area as well. This is the other bedroom that's off of the wing that is in the south side of the property. And as you can see, relatively sized good uh, bedroom, wooden doors there. That's the closet area. And I'll pan around to another bathroom area here that actually has a tub and a tile vanity and slate floors. While I'm on this wing of the house, what we're looking at here is a water heater and a water softening system. 
panning through the garage area, three car garage, and the floor has a Now in front of me is a hallway area going to the master bedroom. And on our left is an office area. The office area. You have some built-ins there. And we'll move into the master, master bedroom area. What you're looking at is the opening going into the bathroom. I'll go into it and then pan back to the uh, bedroom itself. Jacuzzi, uh, walk-in shower here. Potty is over here to my left. Now we'll go into the walk-in closet, and it is a monster closet. As you can see, it's kind of a his and hers, mainly hers, and lots of storage area. More yet, I'm moving a little fast because my battery is trying to die, I'm sorry. And yet they took in part of the area that was in the office and also added storage space here as well. The master uh, bedroom looking at it from the bathroom area. And there's, of course, it exits out on two. Now I'm standing at the back uh, door area, the living area, and panning out into the patio area. You can see we've got fans all around, and there's our decking in the um, grill area. That's a Gen Air grill, by the way. Pool area. Now I'm looking actually northeast. And fire pit area. That needs to be painted, by the way, and the seller's aware of that. And now I'll look back to the house. Give you an idea of what that view looks like. Okay. Looking over the pools, pool, of course, one thing you run into out here are the views and the, how spectacular they are. This, and it kind of, I can see it's a bit blurry because it's not focusing on it, but that's actually four peaks off in the distance, which is about 30 miles away, and we'll see that one snow-capped in the wintertime many times. And I'm panning back to the northeast. You can see all the hill lines and ridge lines. And that's a neighbor's house there. And another neighbor's house. So that's it.